वन पटेटो टू पटेटो वन पटेटो टू पटेटो कुक 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 One can make even a complete YouTube channel just about potatoes. There are hundred ways to cook it: baked potato, fried potatoes. You can even throw them in a bonfire. Today, I'm going to make something spicy, but also very easy and quick, which is suitable to cook on the trail. Especially when I'm on a bicycle tour, I'm very hungry and I want something spicy, something tasty to eat instead of just baking it or just boiling it. So today I'm going to use some just four spices and the plan is like this. I'm going to boil some water before and I'm going to cook the potatoes in it. But I have another idea. I have put some extra water. Since I am already boiling the water, I can make a cup of coffee for me and then in the remaining water i will boil the potatoes to save the time i bought a ready mix of coffee i have some sunflower oil potatoes i think i can make just one potato should be enough for me today and i'm going to use just four spices mustard seeds cumin seeds turmeric and salt i didn't get the potato peeler you can't carry everything in the bicycle but uh, this is the first time after many years i'm going to peel them with a knife when i was a child my mother had taught me this i hope it works i just don't have to drop it here i don't think i was a good student if i had learnt it properly i would have got it better this takes very long time unless you are a very good cook and you cook every day i found it very difficult to peel the potato with the knife next time i will get a proper potato peeler but one potato should be enough for me i'll make some pieces of it and cut them into another small pieces they should be even I think they are quite even. Not bad. Here the water has started boiling. I like to make coffee by myself with real milk. But sometimes these ready mixes are really quick. Save your time. Yeah, that's nice. Here I have it. And in the rest of the water I will put the potatoes. Nice cup of coffee. My potatoes have started boiling i will lower the heat i will use the salt twice i will put some now so it will absorb the salt and when i will mix the spices i will add some other salt so here goes little salt it will take another 5 minutes to soften the potatoes I'll put this back in my bag. Next time, get a potato peeler. It should be just 20 grams or something. There is another potato recipe where you use onion and which is very soft. You can put it inside the bread like a sandwich. Maybe next week I'll cook that. I think they're boiled enough. I need to check. I will drain out the water. as much as i can and get them all here 
Oh, I dropped one piece of potato. They will dry out soon. I need them dry as much as possible because I'm going to fry them with spices in oil. The pot has also dried, but I will dry it thoroughly because I'm going to put oil in this and I don't want the oil to pop up with the water. I will also heat it a bit before. I want it absolutely dry. Yes, I think it's already dry. I'll put oil. Normal sunflower oil. In these small cooking pots, things heat up very fast. I will lower the heat, otherwise my spices will get burnt. I will get the spices ready. Mustard seeds and cumin seeds. Mustard seeds go first. So they are popping already. Up. I have to hold it up because as I told you, it heats up very fast and I don't want my spices to burn. Another second it they would burn. I will put this aside now. Put the rest of the things. Put rest of the ingredients. Little of turmeric. You see the oil is so hot that without even putting it on the gas it burns and salt. Now I will mix it well because this has to wrap up all the potato pieces so the taste should be even all over. I will put this back to the stove and once it gets heated I have to put the potatoes in and start mixing it very fast. Yes, it's ready. I'll put the heat just little up and here it goes, here it goes, mix it. Mix it. Mix it. Nice. Look at it. Look at this. Now I want the sides of the potatoes to get burnt a little bit, a little crisp on it, but I don't want it to stick to the pot. So I will keep on mixing. I will rest it for few seconds because I want the sides of the potatoes to get little burnt. I wish I can get that little red color on the sides. But not more than that, otherwise they will stick to the pan. There is little getting stuck here. So the heat is more. I will get the heat down, scrap the bottom. Actually whatever I scrap, they even mix with the potatoes and they really taste good. It's like a breadcrumb. Now I have got some bread from home which I prepared last night, small ones. I will cut them into two and make for me some nice bites, spicy bites. I will get the potatoes aside because there is some spiced oil is still there inside the pot. A load of taste lies here in this oil. So I'm going to make use of it. I'm going to light the stove again. Put on it and I want this bread to get spiced up with this oil remaining inside the pot. I have to put it slow otherwise the oil will burn. You see it's spiced up. That's it. Look. 
it also has got some crisp in it and spices. I will boil a little of water in this so it will be easier for me to clean it because there are little spices which are stuck at the bottom. If this video made you feel cooking something on the trail, give this video a like. And if you didn't feel anything, maybe next time you will feel. Till then, subscribe.